welcome to my channel my name's Emily the petite beauty blogger and in today's video I'll be doing get ready with me and also showing you what I got for Christmas so if you're new to my channel then welcome I hope you enjoyed the video and just to tell you what this video is going to be like I'm literally going to be doing my makeup and in between I'll be showing you what presents I got I in no way wanted to make this video seem like I was bragging because I really don't want to do that and after this year 2020 I am just grateful that I've got my family with me a lot of them are they were more vulnerable my dad my stepmom my grandma I couldn't see them at all really so this year's been horrendous but I just want to say that even though presents are nice I'm just grateful to have my family and anyway I prefer giving presents anyway I gave my dad a signed CD of like Queen so Adam Lambert Brian May and Roger Taylor and just seeing him opening it was the best thing for me rather than having presents I don't really care I'm more into experiences and memories but I just wanted to come on and say this is going to be a very light-hearted fun video and I hope you stay tuned and enjoy it so the first product I'm going in with is of course my primer and it's my Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base and it's my favorite now I will say not all of my presents aren't luxury you see all these youtubers they get all the designer stuff although I do love a bit of designer even though I don't own anything designer I love the art and look at it I don't really I'm not really into materialistic things I'm definitely into more experience experiences like for my birthday two years ago my mum bought me a ticket to the Glamour Beauty Festival in London and that was brilliant because I could go to London by myself and really enjoy it and my favourite present I think I've got this year that I'm I think I'm most excited about is as I said I love experiences my dad usually gets me a virgin experience like last year we went me and my brother went to Thorpe Park but this year I got an experience to do the Wookie Hole caving experience now I do kind of live near Wookie Hole so I don't have to try far which I love and I am an adventurous I like adventure stuff I'm not saying I'm adventurous but I like adventure stuff and the Wookie caving experience you do abseiling into a clip into a cave sorry and you like climb over like water and you do like zip wires now for those who don't know I love high ropes and things like that I love zip wires and I've done go out way too many times to count I've done the Bournemouth Pier zip line I love things like that I have done abseiling before when I was like 16 but I'm a bit nervous for this one because it is in a cave and it is very um kind of like it's just very rocky and it's quite confined and I'm not usually claustrophobic when I looked at the pictures it did kind of go like that but that's what I love about some of these things once you accomplish accomplish them you feel so much better for doing it and I'm very excited the so next product I'm going in with is foundation and it's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in 145 now I will say I'm not going to show all of my presents because I've got a lot of chocolate and it's already gone <laughs> so I'm not usually one for chocolate like I don't really eat it much but when it's there I eat it so I'm not usually craving chocolate or sweet things like I'm a savoury gal but it was Lindor and when there's Lindor there you eat it <laughs> and yeah I do t try to eat healthily usually but as 2020 has been such a mess eat the damn chocolate like don't worry about it it's been a mess of a year so just do what you like don't feel bad for it and then just work out work out to get the calories off if that's what you're into <laughs> i don't exercise that much i've been off dancing and when i'm off dancing not much gets done apart from makeup moving on to my next product i'm going in with my trusty concealer which is the makeup revolution conceal and define in c3 this is my favorite it's super creamy it's super thick and it's just it does a job now this is this video is basically just a massive thank you to all the people that got me presents this year i am a big advocate for people always just being grateful for what they have now i'm going to blend this out with my real techniques sponge moving on to the next present now for those who don't know me i am a massive friends fan 
and for Christmas my mum got me a friend's notebook and I also accidentally started collecting notebooks. I didn't mean to, it just started happening, I, I just kept buying them. Now, <laughs> usually for Christmas I have to tell my mum what to get me, otherwise she'll get me something random. Like, I'll tell her I like something and then that Christmas I'll get like tons of stuff of that one thing. So usually I have to try and guide her, but this one I didn't guide her on and I love it. You can take off the amber um, things and place them wherever you want, but I like them where they are so I leave them. Now I am a massive Friends fan, I have obviously all the box set and I just, it's one of my favourite programmes. And this was just a really useful present and it's got all like, it has the date on the inside with the New York kind of skyline. And then inside all the pages do have like couches on them, which I love. And very quickly to go in with the friends kind of theme. This one I did actually pick out because I saw it and I loved it. But she was already gonna get it for me, but she didn't know if I'd like it and I saw it and I liked it anyway. So friends stickers that go on everything. I've currently got on the back of my phone this one which I love. It says, hello, my name is Regina Falange. I I love that. And the Falange, I love the scene on the plane. The left Falange, like I cry thinking about it. <laughs> so that is also really useful and it can go on loads of different things. I am getting older, but who doesn't love like a customizable sticker and <laughs> you know, I'm getting old now. Oh, and I've blended, now moving on to my powder. I'm going in with the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. This is a really nice light kind of powder and I love it. And I'm going to apply it using Real Techniques. It's rubbed off, I think 400 maybe. I don't know, the number's rubbed off. So, but that means I use it a lot, which I do actually. It's one of my favorite brushes. And I'm literally just going to pack it on just lightly, because even though it's not the heaviest, it does set really nicely. Just like, just how you want it, really. Just enough. Now, whilst that kind of bakes in itself, the next present I'm going to show you is a bit of a niche one. You may not know this, I am a humongous Queen fan. Like, I'm going to see, obviously, Queen and Adam Lambert next year. It was meant to be this year, but of course, 2020 us all over and although I like Queen I am an old lady at heart I really am old and my dad for Christmas this is gonna make me look so old oh my gosh I'm actually but this is one of my favorite presents he got me a Queen tray it's got like the bit there which I love it's actually got my name on it which I am obsessed with it says special collector's edition presented to Emily and it's just got loads of Queen stuff on it and I know <laughs> you see a lot of YouTubers to get the Gucci bags and all that. I'm really excited to get a tray. Like I've been using this every day since Christmas. Like <laughs> it's one of my favorite presents. I know that sounds really strange to have a, to, for a tray to be a favorite present, but I, I love it. Oh my God. The next product I'm going in with is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. And I'm going to be applying it using the Eco Tools brush. And for this present, keeping in with the Queen theme from my mum, I got some Queen badges. I do actually own a Freddie Mercury one that's like an enamel pin and it's got like gems on it, but this one is really cool. It's like collectors. And I have got a jacket that I've been like putting patches on because I've got a denim jacket that I've been like collecting patches from different places I go and I've been adding it on. And this will look really cool on it. I do have a Queen patch on there. But it would look really cool with the badges. I love them. You've got the innuendo, you've got it's a kind of magic, the works, just oh, some really cool ones that are not as well known. Because one thing that really bugs me about like kind of rock old rock bands is people go, Oh, I love them, I love them. And then when you ask them, Oh, what song do you like? It's always like the most popular song that they know. And like maybe, maybe that song is your favourite but I think some people just like to get on the hype. My favourite song in the entire world is Queen, The Show Must Go On, because of course that has a lot of meaning, especially to Freddie Mercury, but even now, 
it's just got a lot of meaning and it is my favourite song ever and I want to get it tattooed on me but I am horrifically I've had one tattoo and I hated it like, uh, people don't say it's painful but I think it mind you I'm not very good with pain so that doesn't really help but I love I'll give you some of my favourite Queen songs Good Old Fashioned Never Boy I love that song I love One Vision with the fried chicken at the end I die if you don't know what I'm talking about you need to listen to the song I love I love Seven Seas Arrive that's a really early one of theirs I just love the guitar in it what other songs I mean I love Great Pretender I know that's not necessarily Queen it's more Freddie Mercury but I just love the ending note that he sings it makes me feel good but I'm just a muscle queen fan I own a lot of their like memorabilia I have books I have records I really am a massive Queen Punk and that's thanks to my dad because he was such a big Queen fan. Like the first like kind of tribute Queen band I went to was when I was nine. And I fell asleep through the whole thing but something must have stuck. And I just love it. I love the whole Freddie Mercury aesthetic, you know, his outfits, the way he was. Like he because he was a performer. Obviously in real life he was actually more shy, but when he got on stage he was a different person, he didn't have to be shy, which I relate to in such a big way, especially with my dancing. I literally, you, sometimes when you're on stage you become like a different character, which I really loved about him. Moving on to contour, I'm going in with my Benefit Get the Pretty started, and I'm just going to use the Hula shade for my contour, as you can see it's very well used. So. The next product I'm going in for is, of course, socks. As a child, you were like, oh god, I've got socks. But now I'm an adult, I'm like, oh my god, I've got socks. And these ones were from my mum, and these were Lulu Guinness. Mind you, I knew I was getting these because I saw them in TK Maxx on sale, and <laughs> I had to ask for them. I'm not, I'm not a person that goes, oh, get me this, get me this. I, I always ask because I don't like to be a dick. And I'm a massive fan of Lulu Guinness. I own a backpack of hers that of course I've got on sale if you saw my last video you know I love a sale but it's a backpack that's got loads of like lipsticks and lips on it I love her whole aesthetic and her whole vibe it's so me and I just love socks like they're a top tier Christmas present and they've got the lips on which I love but as you get older especially now I'm, I'm 25 next year I ask for practical stuff more than <laughs> magical like if I need it I'll ask for it and then if it's near Christmas I'll just like give it to me for Christmas I know that sounds really unmagical but like I put on my Santa's list practical stuff that I actually need <laughs> because if I need something why not get someone else <laughs> now for the next product I'm going in with blush and this is the Carity blush palette now this look today it is going to be inspired um i recently saw her on instagram and i followed her it's an account called beat by lucy i think i'll put the video of her instagram up here i fell in love with her page it's very retro kind of vintage inspired and it is to to die for it's one of my favorite makeup instagram pages and of course when you're retro you've got to do blush so for this look I'll be doing a mixture of Bang Bang and Philomena for pink and kind of like that peachy kind of shade because the look state is going to be pink. I'm wearing kind of like this pink dress which I love and it's just going to be a very intense blush look. I might add a bit of lolly in there because why not? So what I think I might do is put Bang Bang and Philomena on the outer edges and then put Lolly dead in the centre for that pop. I want to know what everyone else got for Christmas. See if anyone else got anything more interesting than I did. Like, I would love to know. Because what what presents may seem silly to other people may be your favourite. Like my, like my damn tray. <laughs> And the next product I'm going to be 
this is quite a funny one. My mum got into my, got into my head that I love colouring books. I mean, I have a few Vogue ones. I might, mm, but yeah, I like my Vogue colouring books. But she just assumed I love Vogue. Uh, she assumed I love colouring books, and then she got in her head that I liked burlesque. But don't get me wrong, burlesque is amazing. What they do is incredible. I love like, but I've never seen a show. <laughs> she got me a burlesque colouring book. But basically, the whole book is just colouring in nude ladies. <laughs> So actually, it's not necessarily something I would have picked out, but it's actually quite, like we laugh about it because there are so many naked ladies in here. <laughs> there are some looks in here. <laughs> I mean, sometimes when I'm feeling stressed, I do colour. I know that sounds silly, but, but when people get into adult colouring books, this is an adult, adult colouring book but we laugh about it now so it's fine now i'm going to move on to the eyes and i will put a picture here of reference but i am going to do some different colors so i'm going to do pink and for the pink i'm going in with two palettes this is the ColourPop Ooh palette and for that i will be going in with the shade trove as kind of like the base and then i might liven it up with a sandbar right there and then I was thinking maybe not now now that I've seen that sandbar shade I was going to go in with pushover because it kind of matched my dress which is what I love and I will be applying a liner like here to give it that really vintage style and quickly before I do that move on to the next present now this is gonna make me sound like a proper nerd but I love Disney and I'm really obsessed with pin trading. I already had this bag. Pin trading is basically you collect pins and you can trade them with people all over the world. So I think that's amazing. I could have something from a different country in here. I really love it. Obviously this year it's been a bit harder. You can't really pin trade because COVID. But my mum bulk bought me a load of pins, but there was one like specific one that I got, which is my favorite. This is my keeper ones, and then underneath I've got my traders. But this is my pins, I've got some Sequoia Lodge ones, I've got some Pride ones, I've got some Cinderella ones, which are my favourite, and the Big Thunder Mountain is the new ones. But the one she got me, which I love the most, is that blue one right there. If you can see it, if it focuses on it. Now, a fun story about Boo is when I was a child like four five six i had an uncannably resemblance to boo so my mum wishes to call me boo like literally i had the pigtails i had the eye color i had the hair color i was literally the spit of boo i'll try and see if i can find a baby photo of me looking like it if i can't i can't but she used to call me boo because i actually looked like like creepy like boo so that's kind of like our thing and I used to have like boo dolls and it was just very me so I'm really happy I got that for Christmas. Okay so I've primed my lid and the first shade I'm going in with is from the Rachel from the Makeup Revolution Friends collection it's her own palette and I'll just be going over it with a base colour and that is Dinosaur. This is just to help give like an even kind of colour all over my lid. Now this look will have kind of like a line up here. So first things first, I'm going to go in with a liner, a pencil liner, just to draw out the line because I find it easier to tidy up with a pencil liner because I feel like with a like a liquid liner, I feel like it sets and it's a lot harder to tidy. So I'll just be drawing the line I want. Just very simple now, I have got hooded eyes so I do like to do it just above my crease and then once you've got the shape you can go back in with concealer to tidy up the edges which is what I'm going to do now now I've got the shape I'm going in with the Colourpop Ooh La La palette and I'm going to just go in with the shade and I'm literally going to be following that line and I'll do it over slightly 
just to kind of cover that black. And for that, I'm going to be using the brush Spectrum A13. It's kind of a small one and it's flat, which is just what I wanted. And I'm literally going to stuff it over the black. Now I've done the base, I'm going to go in with the shade Sandbar, which is that kind of fluorescent neon pink. And that is just going to go just above Trove. What I'm doing now is just cleaning up the edge with concealer. With the Colourpop Cosmetics Oola La palette, I'm going in with the shimmery shade Tickled just all over my lid. Okay, so now I've got the line, I am going to define it using my Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I'm just going to do it where we did the liner before, just to add a bit of depth. Now this has to be precise, you don't want to mess up the rest, so really take your time with this one. Sorry if I don't get it for the camera, I'm really trying to make it correct, so we don't mess it up. So there we go, and I will say I did have to tidy up a few little bits, and a great tip if you do have to tidy up some edges, especially with the liner, this is my own experience, I wait for the liner to dry, because if you try and put concealer over it, if when it's wet, it's just going to mix together and just create this grey shade that you don't want, so I wait for it to dry and then you can try and pick it off, like scratch it or cut, just cover it with concealer which is what I did. Now what I'm going to do now is bring that black down ever so slightly to connect it and I'm just going to do the tiniest wing here. Cute! Now what I am going to do is go back in with that brush and go back in with that sand bar shade and I'm going to actually wait for this to dry and then I'm just going to connect the two here I've kind of connected the two together and oh I love it it's so cool I really do suggest you check out her page, it's Beats by Lizzie. As always on this channel, and it always will be, if I get inspired by a look, I will always credit, because people that don't credit people, like artists, are literally the worst. I did a look about 2020, and someone completely copied it. I, I'm not, I don't mind people copying my work, I'm completely fine with that, as long as they credit. I don't have many followers, I don't have many subscribers, and this is my art is literally what I have, and <laughs> it was just a bit shitty, because it's like, I came up with that, I didn't actually see anyone do that, so I was really excited that I'd been quite creative and come up with this look, and for someone to nick it, I was not very happy about, because, like, if you want to copy my look, I'm fine with that, that's fabulous, I'm so happy that you're inspired by my work, but please credit me, you know, because it was copied literally to AT and it was quite an interesting different look that was a bit more weird, it wasn't like something, I don't know, but I was just wasn't very happy about it, and I just think always credit the artist, because that's all we ask for, onto the van, so just underneath my waterline I am just going to do a bit of black liner this is underneath the waterline because in the waterline we're going to do a bit of white and now I'm going to go in with my white aligner this is from natural collections 
and I'm just going to use it in my waterline. Okay. Cute, and I'm just going to take a clean blending brush because I'm not happy with the shape of that. I think it went a bit too far down. So I'm just going to use it to kind of sharpen those edges, which you can do. Okay, so now I've done that, I am going to add some some little bottom lashes that are going to make them look more retro, which she does phenomenally. I love it. So I'm just going to take my Wet n Wild Mega Liner and just from the outer corner, draw like some false lashes. Okay, so we're nearly done. I'm just going to go back in with Trove with a very thin liner eyebrow brush and I'm just going to slightly go over the black liner because this is just going to help it all kind of blend together and make it not look as harsh with the black. there you have it there are the eyes completed this took longer than normal because <laughs> my other eye was watering and it just liner went absolutely everywhere so i had to take it off and do it again obviously it's not as good as <laughs> hers beats by lizzie's because she's used to doing looks like this whereas i'm not but i do love it i think it's so cool and I'm, i really like the way she does now I've completed that, I'm going to go on to my next present. Now this is another thing I collect, I collect bottles. And this I got from my dad, it's Kath Kidson, and it's covered in strawberries, and I love strawberries. They are my favourite fruit, and pro probably one of my favourite foods, and it's just a really cute bottle. Now I don't really have hot drinks that much, but I do in the winter, like hot black currant. I don't know if anyone else does that. But I think it's just really cute and adorable. And now I'm going to move on to my lips. For lips, I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution shade Highness, and I'm going to move in and get started. So I'm just going to apply a bit of highlighter, which is the Makeup Revolution Ice. And I'm using the Spectrum B08 brush. Okay, now I've finished the look. I am going to set it. But before I set it, I'm going to show you the last present I got. Now this was from my second cousin. And it's one of those machines where it cleans your brush. Now I, I'm very excited to try this because I've been wanting to try this for a while. But... I've just never really got around to buying it, so I'm very excited to try it. It's not put together yet, but I might do a video on it and review it, see how good it is. And it's nice and small and compact, so it will fit nicely into my room. And I'm very excited to give that a try. If, someone, if you want to see the video or a review on it, then comment down below. And yeah, that was the last present I'm going to show you because otherwise this video will be too long. So I really hope you enjoy the video. I tried to make it a bit more relaxed, not to look what I got, look what I got, but more fun. And I really hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you could like, comment and subscribe, it is, it is, it's just gone Christmas. So that would be my present from you guys. And you can follow me on my Instagram at Petite Beauty Blogger. You can like my pro Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash MUA by Emily. And I will also link my website down below. And please check out Beats by Lizzie. She is incredible. So this look isn't exactly as good, but makeup is all about practicing. I do it basically every day. I practice and I would never be able to do this two years ago. So you've really just got to keep practicing. And that's all I can say. You know, sometimes you've got to do the looks that challenge you so that you get better. So I hope you have a fabulous New Year's and 
I hope you're staying safe and well and see you in my next video.